Hi everyone and welcome. We're out here in my garden and what you see in front of us is my outdoor worm bag. I call it a worm bin sometimes and I always correct myself because it is a grow bag. It's actually two grow bags, one within the other. And I've got worms in here. I've got, I don't know, probably a good 1,500, 2,000 worms in here. I forget, I've probably got some sort of an estimate somewhere on how many worms I've got in here. The key thing about this system is that I had originally set up my outdoor system as a test, as like an overwintering test to see how the worms would fare if I were to leave the system out uh, outdoors all winter long. And I've done this two years in a row now and the worms have always done great. I'll admit it's not a pure 100% test. Because I do sometimes chicken out and then I end up taking the worms indoors when I think that the weather is going to become really harsh and cold and I just don't want to risk losing a whole population of worms just to satisfy my curiosity in, in a test but um but this uh, system always seems to do really well I always really like the uh, consistency of the material out here it's always got good flaky texture it never seems like it gets too wet even though it just sits out here and gets rained on and everything and what we're seeing here I believe are sprouts from the tomato seeds because I've been putting tomatoes in here and every now and then you just see start seeing sprouts everywhere so I think all these little sprouts are probably tomato plants they've got that some of them some of the more mature ones have that sort of telltale fuzziness on their stem already so uh, the materials that I've got here to feed them with is cabbage, mostly red cabbage, I believe. I met up with my mom yesterday so she could offload some of the stuff she's been collecting in her freezer on me. And in my attempt to make it fit in my own freezer, I felt that I had sort of uh, reached capacity also. And I just grabbed some of the larger chunks and bought them out here to feed them to this outdoor system. I'll just, uh, I'll trash this when we're finished. So I just like to come out here once in a while. I can't remember now, but I believe it was maybe nine days or perhaps 11 days since we last fed. And I did quickly look at the video from last time and I think there was a big, huge head of broccoli included in the last feeding. So I wonder if something that size can actually still have leftovers remaining or if it's all gone by now. So we're going to probe down in here a little bit, check out, see what kind of leftovers we're going to find in here, and then we'll plop in today's portion. This is just the, um, the stem of a bunch of grapes. It's pretty tough stuff, you know, it's almost like wood, so I imagine it's probably going to take some time to break down. I'm not overly particular about what goes into this type of a system out here. You can see there's a lot of peanut shells. I believe that's also the sort of material that is almost like wood and would probably take time to break down but um we're gonna excavate through here a little bit uh-huh i was wondering about this the last couple times we checked in because i didn't bump into it it's just a cork and cork is pretty tough material i think the cork has been outside here in this bin for some time now it originally started downstairs in my wormery as sort of a test and then i think i just gave up on it because it was taking so long one way or another it ended up out here in the system and i think i, I think i was actually able to chip off a, a little chunk of it once upon a time but i never really get the sense that it's really you know going anywhere so some of the stuff in here that we're already bumping into looks pretty um pretty fresh still it almost seems like you could rinse this piece of lettuce off and make a salad out, out of it <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how it is that certain things end up out here. Um, but there must have been a good reason for it. So let's um, let's continue. There's another little piece of, I think, lettuce. The white stuff makes sense, right? Because usually that's closer to the, the butt end of it, the stem. Usually people don't want to eat that stuff, but it's the more leafy stuff that we usually eat as humans. Luckily, our worm friends are not quite as particular about what they eat. I still haven't bumped into that large head of broccoli that was placed in here last time. Fairly certain that it's a head of broccoli that I had thrown in here. I mean, I did sort of skim through the 
video from last time pretty quickly, but you know, it's not the sort of thing that you would easily mistake for something else. Sometimes getting deep down into the system is a little bit tricky because I'm, you know, keep trying to push the material up on the sides to make myself room to keep going deeper. But after a while, it just starts to want to avalanche down into the hole that I'm trying to open up here. This to me looks like a um, paper towel, just because it's got that sort of woven textured appearance to it. So I must have also thought that a little bit of extra bedding type material or carbon food source would be beneficial. I might have also just used that as the way to carry it out here rather than using this nifty piece of plastic to carry the food out here. I've heard a number of people add, you know, while they were adding broccoli to their systems, kind of warn the viewers that, um, it's one of the sort of things that once it starts breaking down within your bin, it starts to become a little bit stinky. And I guess that kind of makes sense. Cabbage, any of those sorts of things that fit into those families of types of vegetables. I always, I always have a hard time pronouncing the word. I know what the word is, but I can't think to myself how it's supposed to sound. Cruci cruci cruciferous <laughs> vegetables. You know, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. I believe that they're all kind of in their same vegetable family or, you know, type of plant. And um, I got to tell you, I'm having no luck finding this big, what I remember to be a pretty big head of broccoli. I'm kind of expecting some background noise because there's a lot of activity out here. The one neighbor's got power tools running. I can also see that on the other side of the street, there's a, a big um, flatbed parked with a dump truck that says some sort of a tank service is working over here and they've got their backhoe in the yard, two properties over. Maybe they're replacing a tank or something. So I keep expecting a whole lot of racket at any moment. But you know what? I got this funny feeling that the that big head of broccoli that I've been fishing around for might have just gotten eaten. I'm, I'm actually going to do a reality check on the video I shot last time I was out here to feed this system. Because maybe I'm just losing my mind. Or maybe this system is just really capable of breaking down fairly large portions of food pretty quickly maybe there's more worms in here than I think I mean you know you plow through and you do pretty much run into worms all over the place and their numbers are clearly on the rise because here and there you do stumble on what appears to be a, a worm cocoon I'm fairly certain that that's a worm cocoon so um whatever you know I guess the, the big head of broccoli is what kind of drove me to plow through here and search high and low. But I'm just going to go with the assumption at this point that it's been eaten. Making me think that this was a pretty timely check-in. Almost making me think that this is kind of a skimpy feeding. <laughs> but for now, that's all I came out here with. I can always return to come back out here again another time to give them more. And, um, you know, if they're digging this type of food, this cabbage is in that same food family. So I assume it's going to go over quite well and probably get eaten pretty quickly. This here, though, this is like the, the heart of the head of cabbage where you normally utilize all the leafy stuff around it. And this is more like the stem, the butt end in the center of the head of cabbage. So it's a pretty dense something and it's pretty much impossible to manipulate since it's frozen solid but once it thaws out i'm sure the worms are going to be able to squirm in between the layers of it and start making good use of it and make make a good meal out of it the rest of it is kind of just leafy stuff here's another chunk of what might be cabbage might be lettuce i don't even know but yeah it's certainly not a lot of food but i figured i would try to make a little bit of space in my um in my freezer bag that i keep all of my worm 
foods stored in because I was just running out of room. <laughs> and you know, it is always fun to come in here and check out how things are progressing in this system. And it is a beautiful day. So uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to take care of out here today. I'm sure it probably took a lot longer than it needed to as well because I always seem to get sidetracked just by all the worms and you know if I happen to spot a cocoon I try to go grab it but then I usually fail because I've got these big clumsy gardening gloves on <laughs> so yeah that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and return these coverings so that we leave it the way we found it it does seem like this arrangement of coverings that I came up with here is pretty effective it um it kind of forces a little bit of moisture to recirculate right underneath the plastic but since it's placed on here without going all the way out to the edges it allows for the material on the outer edges to um, kick off some of the moisture in the bin should it start to get overly damp it even allows for some of the rain to go into the system around the edges when it rains so it uh it seems to be working quite nicely but um that's it for this video <clears throat> I guess I've got a little bit of cleanup to do with this glove, although not much. I just usually scrape off some of the stuff stuck to it and throw it back where I found that it. it is a gardening glove after all. But um, before I go, let me just really quickly say thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. Please also consider subscribing to the channel too if you haven't done so already. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.